Hello, my name is Davida Stallings, founder and CEO of Pressure Points, a hypertension self-management mobile health app. Pictured here are my grandparents. My grandmother died at the young age of 53 of a stroke that we believe was caused by uncontrolled blood pressure associated with not taking her medication as prescribed. You see, my grandmother was a woman that would sacrifice her health for the needs of her family. Or maybe she did not understand the importance of taking her medication as prescribed. Since hypertension has no obvious symptoms like other chronic diseases, this wasn't just the story of my grandmother. As a nurse for more than 24 years, an ER nurse for 11, caring for patients with uncontrolled blood pressure was not uncommon. In fact, I quickly became aware of the hypertension disparity that exists in underserved, diverse populations like African Americans. I then moved on to community health nursing because I wanted to keep people out of the ED as much as possible for conditions like hypertension. I also volunteered countless hours working in my local community and church to educate and screen for blood pressure. Hypertension affects nearly every major organ when left uncontrolled. One in three adults are diagnosed with hypertension and only one in four has it controlled. It increases with age and it is a silent killer. And vulnerable populations have higher rates of kidney disease, strokes, and heart attacks. We know disease self-management is key and patient involvement in the treatment process improves outcomes and cuts costs. Current apps lack many of the features needed for health providers to feel comfortable incorporating them into treatment plans, such as usability testing, comprehensive functionalities, a theoretical basis, and even the expertise of health professionals and people living with the disease in the app's design and development. What we need is a better solution for management of blood pressure at home. We need interventions that are culturally tailored and individualized, and mobile phones have become an integral part of people's lives and are opportune in assisting patients manage chronic diseases. My program of research is here, and these are just select publications exploring perceptions of hypertension in African Americans and interventions to improve self-management behavior. These factors led to the development of Pressure Points, a more comprehensive guide to manage health. Patients will initially complete a high blood pressure perception survey based on theory Based on their responses, they will receive individualized education to clarify any misperceptions of hypertension. Then they will be directed to the Healing Garden, a safe space to discuss sensitive topics addressing, addressing issues such as living with prolonged stress due to racism, biases, and mistreatment in healthcare. We will use storytelling and videos featuring conversations between providers and patients. Then they will be directed to evidence-based self-management activities, and they will be able to set goals for the activities that they want to engage in. Points will be given for goal milestones, and the participants will be able to use those points to purchase items from the Pressure Point store. For each activity, there will be surveys, trackers, reminders, and alerts, and also a support zone. Our TAM market is 4.6 billion. Our initial market is direct to consumer. So considering the older adult population times our initial targeted app price per year of $99 gives us SAM of 8.8 .8 billion. Our SOM is 88 million, considering us capturing only 10% of SAM. However, we recognize that our future go-to market is much higher. For our competitors, most apps do include blood pressure trackers and other self-management activities. However, the additional components needed to make the app more comprehensive for easier uptake in the treatment plans for patients are missing. Pressure Points features those missing components. 
We have plans to trademark pressure points. What cannot be replicated is the personal touch that we bring from years of experience in nursing, teaching, and research. Direct to consumer will be our initial target market through subscription-based plans. Going, we plan to go to the app store, social media sites, and known places of trust for African-Americans, including churches, hair salons, and barbershops. Then we will target providers, reaching them through conferences and organizations such as the American Heart Association. We have non-dilutive funding through first quarter of 2023 to develop the prototype app and test it on a pilot group. We will use the challenge prize of 60,000 to take our pilot data and further improve and develop the app through the second and third quarter of 2023. By fourth quarter of 2023, we plan to launch the app on the App Store. Our team consists of Dr. Marie Philip Neri, who is a nephrologist and has expertise in hypertension and outcomes research. Dr. Kimberly Enard, public health professor and researcher with 10 years of management and consulting experience. Veda Thompson, co-director of the Center for Community Health Partnership and Research. Blake Anderson, software developer. And we also have plans to add a business and marketing health expert. Here is our advisory board that consists of healthcare providers, as well as we will be adding two people living with hypertension, uh, exercise specialists, nutritionists, and a pharmacist. The challenge prize will assist us to continue app development and help us help others press on for better health. Thank you.